Hello and good evening students and welcome to Baiju's exam prep IES. Let us take a look at the daily quest for 18th May 2023. The first question is identify the correct statements regarding cardiovascular diseases. It is the leading cause of death in the world. India Hypertension Management Project was introduced in the year 2017 to reduce both deaths and disabilities due to cardiovascular diseases. Ministry of Health and Family Welfare has recently introduced the 7525 initiative solely to focus upon the patients with hypertension. We have taken this question because yesterday on 17th May was the World Hypertension Day. Now on this day, the Union Health Ministry it announced its 7525 initiative to provide standard care to 75 million people suffering from hypertension and diabetes by the year 2025 through the primary health centers. Now cardiovascular diseases, they are the leading cause of death in the world. Also, according to an ICMR study, Indian Council of Medical Research and Registrar General of India, India accounts for 60% of the world's heart disease burden. So, that is why in September 2017, India introduced the India Hypertension Management Project under which India Hypertension Management Initiative was launched. Now, this was a collaborative initiative of Indian Council for Medical Research, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, the state governments and the World Health Organization in order to save the disabilities and deaths related to cardiovascular diseases. So, this is correct. This is correct. However, this is incorrect because it does not solely focuses on patients with hypertension but also those with diabetes. So, your correct answer over here is A. Next question is, which of the following statements is are true? Greater flamingos are endemic to India. Greater flamingos are the only variety of flamingos in India. They are mostly concentrated in the eastern parts of India. In the IUCN red list, they are under the least concern category. Now, greater flamingos, they are not endemic to India, but there are a few pockets where they are available throughout the year. Now, you can see in the map that it is mostly the northwestern and the western parts of India where the flamingos are present, whereas in the eastern part, they are present only in very tiny pockets. So, they are mainly present in the western and the northwestern parts of India. Moreover, there are two varieties of flamingos that we find in India. It is the greater flamingo and the lesser flamingo. So, if we go back to our question, this is incorrect, this is incorrect and this is also incorrect. This however is correct, yes, in the IUCN red list, they are under the least concern category. So, your correct answer is C. Next question is, which of the following statements is are true regarding nutrient-based subsidy scheme? It is implemented by the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmer Welfare. It provides subsidies for all the three macronutrient fertilizers. Now, we have taken this question because the nutrient-based subsidy for the Kharif season of 2023 now has gotten the cabinet nod. Now, this scheme was started in order to mainly increase the consumption of phosphorus and potassium fertilizers so as to achieve an optimum balance with regards to use of the macronutrients NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium in the ratio of 4 is to 2 is to 1. Since the year 2010, this policy is being implemented by the Department of Fertilizers, which comes under the Ministry of Chemicals and Fertilizers and not the Ministry of Agriculture. So, under this regime, all the NPK fertilizers, they are included. Also, the fertilizers which are fortified with secondary and micronutrients like molybdenum and zinc, they are also provided with additional subsidy under this scheme. Now, the subsidy on the potassium and phosphorus fertilizer is announced by the government on an annual basis for each nutrient on a per kg basis. So, out of these statements, this is incorrect while this is correct and your correct answer is B. Next question is, identify the animal by taking a look at the following statements. 
This is an elusive species native to Central and South Asia. In India, they are found in both Western and Eastern Himalayas. It is included in Appendix 1 of Sites, that is Convention on International Trade of Endangered Species. The options are Sangai Deer, Red Panda, Brown Bear and Snow Leopard. Now the Sangai Deer, you all know that they are present in very specific pocket in the world. They are endemic to the state of Manipur in India and they are only in the Kabul Lamjau National Park. Then the Red Panda, it is present only in the eastern Himalayas and not in the western Himalayas. That leaves us with two species that is brown bear which is present in both western and eastern Himalayas as well as included in appendix 1 as well as the snow leopard. The differentiating factor between these two is that brown bears are not elusive species. They are not very difficult to sight whereas snow leopards they are very elusive in nature and they do not interact much with humans. So we have taken this question because in a remote Jammu and Kashmir National Park that is the Kishtwar National Park there was a camera trap that photographed the snow leopard. So snow leopards they are found both in the western and the eastern Himalayas. However, they are very difficult to sight and that is why having their photograph, it is a very big achievement. So, your correct answer here is snow leopard. Now, we come to a PYQ from the year 2019. Which of the following is not included in the assets of a commercial bank in India? Advances, deposits, investments, money at call and short notice. Now, the business of the banks is to accept different types of deposits from the public and then lend these deposits to the borrowers. So, that means that deposits, they are basically a liability upon the bank. Whenever the public asks for this deposit, the bank needs to return it back. So, in the balance sheets, we have liabilities as well as assets. So, deposits, they come under the liabilities. The bank is liable to return the deposits whenever demanded by the public. The advances, the investments and money at call and short notice, they are the assets of the banks. So, your correct answer is B. Now, we come to a fact of the day that is about blazars. Now, the observations from 11 global telescopes, it has led to detection of the brightest flare of a century-old blazar known as BL Lasserte or BL Lac, which is located about 950 million light years away from Earth. And this was discovered about a century ago and it has been found to reach its maxima right now. Now, what is a blazar? Blazar is a type of galaxy. So, please note it is not a type of star. It is a type of galaxy which is powered by a ginormous black hole. And it is one of the brightest and most energetic objects in the sky. Now, many thousands of blazars, they have been identified and they belong to a class of galaxies known as active galactic nuclei or AGNs. So, this is basically a reference to the supermassive black holes that power them. Now, around these black holes that are powering the blazars are whirling accretion disks which are made up of matter including dust, gas and stars which is being sucked into the black hole. As the blazar's black hole and accretion disk, it gobbles up or eats up the matter, this disk it heats up and starts radiating energy across the electromagnetic spectrum. These radiations, they range from radio waves to gamma rays. Now, signature geometric feature of these AGNs are the twin relativistic jets that are shot out from the poles of the rapidly spinning black holes. Now, because the earth is directly on the line of movement of this jet, that is why this blazar, it is so brightly visible on the earth. 
So that is all about fact of the day and with that we come to an end to today's daily quiz. I hope you were able to understand the concepts discussed in today's session. So thank you very much and have a very good day ahead.